What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the uh, Dallas Stars bringing in Johnny Oduya. The decision, the decision 2015. Seems like Oduya was uh, making us all wait around yesterday. Kind of like LeBron last summer. Uh, a little bit less of an impact on the franchise. He's he's going to, though. I'll do respect to Mr. Oduya. Um, you know, signing with the Dallas Stars two years at about $3.75 million a year. See, here's the difference between this summer and last summer. Last summer, a deal we signed, I'd be like, are you shitting me? I hate that deal. I.e. Brooks Orpik, uh, you know, Dave Bowen, to a certain degree, um, Matt Niskanen as well. And, uh, you know, just like, who, why are these erroneous contracts being given out? And then now it's like, that, that's a good deal. That works well on both sides. Now, the players are taking a little bit of a haircut, but, you know, if you're going to give Oduya the same contract you gave Brooks Orpik got, which is a joke, uh, you know, five years of five and a half million dollars a season, then you're an idiot, but, and yeah, I'm sure Johnny O'D wishes he got that contract, but you know what, $3.75 million in a state like Texas that doesn't have state income taxes on a team that like the Stars that can use all the help they can on defense, particularly after uh, shipping out Trevor Daly as uh, a means to bring in Patrick Sharp, who helped recruit Oduya to, uh, to Dallas. Um, you know, definitely a uh, an intriguing situation, and you know, I think Dallas will be, you know, very much in the thick of things in the West. You know, really fell off last year. I'm not happy with the goaltending situation at all. I mean, I, I've never been a Carry Lightning guy, and I think the Emmy's more a product of you know the team he plays on, and you know the, the defensive front of him isn't as great as you know the 2010 Blackhawks or you know even some of those pretty good teams in in San Jose he played with. So it's uh, you know, it's a wait and see. For how I view how far I think the Stars are in the playoffs, but you know how far they'll go depends upon you know can Lightning not only be healthy but actually be very very productive um, in terms of you know being above being above average NHL goalie. Likewise for for Niemi, can Niemi bounce back after less than stellar you know year and a half in San Jose? You know those are the questions to be asked. But bringing Odui is a good move. Um, they've got about two million dollars in cap space to play around with. Um, you know, I think that he'll, that Jim Neal will be, uh, you know, kicking the tires on a few guys and, you know, seeing if he can't move some pieces around the board. Um, but, you know, again, I think Dallas is in a better situation than they were two weeks ago when you add a Patrick Sharp, add a Johnny Oduya. You know, you, you, you're gutting a Stanley Cup champion, but in, in the hopes of building one yourself. So, you know, when you got a nucleus, you know, like Ben, like Sagan, uh, you know, Jason Spets to a certain degree as well. Um, you know, good things are gonna happen. I think Vlad, uh, Valerie Kushin is gonna bounce back next year too. I think he'll. I think he put it by eight games last year. Um, I think he'll be, you know, right around 50 points, and uh, you know, he'll be a productive uh, third year NHL. Anyway, that's all. Sort of the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes of the off season and beyond. Later, guys.